Hey, good morning, tubers. Well, it's the morning after and the wind's blowing like crazy. Well, on the upside, beautiful day. My six kilowatt system is doing 3.7 kilowatts. And um, what's that? The 24 amps is coming off the workshop roof. And then 14 amps is coming off that solar panel down there, leaning against the fence. And we had the battery voltage down to 52 volts last night, so she dropped a little bit and we drew out... I, I've got to fix this thing here because the consumed energy was at about 150 amp hours at 48 volt, which is 300 amp hours in the old scale. So it's still not what I've actually taken out in total, but I've got to reset that and make that good. But I am as stoked as one could be with this setup. I cannot believe it. It's awesome. Um, a few little drawbacks. This this morning at 5 a.m. decided that it wanted to... Uh, well, basically what happens is the solar side of it turns off when there's no voltage from the solar panel. So at 5 o'clock this morning it got like 10 volts or watts or whatever and started turning back on and I forgot to turn the beeper off. So at five o'clock in the morning, and, and bearing in mind, my bedroom is two meters that way. So <laughs> this started beeping at five o'clock in the morning and I got a sharp elbow on my ribs from my wife uh, to come out and work out what was going on. Um, <laughs> oh man, I was pissed off, but that's my fault for not setting it up right. But apart from that, we haven't had any problems, you know, just setting it all up and learning the new software well it's actually the old software but it's got new features um, I've just gone through and done a voltage on every single cell the lowest cell was 3.88 and the highest was 3.9 volts so I'm really happy with that what I that, at the bottom I'm really happy at the top I'm not I've got this cell here at the top is um, almost 0.1 of a volt more, which isn't really a problem because I've changed the maximum charge back to four volts per cell. I had it at 4.1, just so I had to get the extra out of it because I knew I had some bad days coming with uh, rain and stuff, which paid off really well. But this pack here is gonna have to come out and I've got another one there waiting to go in. Um, also, I've neglected, and this is my fault for rushing, but I forgot to put the um, the heat shrink underneath on this one. So that's got to come out again and do that. But whilst I'm at it, whilst I'm doing that, what I'm going to do is I've ordered heaps of these clips. Just little clips. A bit like Mike's DIY Powerwall. Um, where he used pegs to balance his cables. I'm just going to actually make an S14 balance cable out of these things. It's a little bit of work. Look, yes, it's a little bit of work, but I'm not afraid of bloody doing work for fun. So I've got to go through and disconnect all, all of the batteries. I've got to separate them all out. And then I can just put positive, 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 positive along the top and negative along the bottom. Leave it there for 24 hours whilst this pack is still connected, so I'm still I'm still operational, I can manually balance that pack out. Oh, look, I reckon it's gonna take 15 or 20 minutes to disconnect the first pack, and 15 or 20 minutes to put it back together again. So half an hour, keep the batteries balanced, keep it all in good shape. I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Also, what, what, one, of the thing, one of the problems we had before, this one's charging at 40, 24 amps. So this is actually a 60 amp charger, so I can put a lot more panels onto this unit and it'll still be fine. But one of the benefits to this is I've got the same amount of panels with half the amount of amps. So this here is no longer getting hot. This here has been uh, being replaced, but for now that's all I've got and it's still a circuit breaker and it's still safer than having nothing. So I'm actually going to buy one of them and put that down there. Uh, for the solar coming uh, from the, the charge coming from here into the battery banks. So that's just another way of making it better, I guess. So let me take you onto my shed roof and show you what else I've done. Hey, okay, tubers. So I'm up in the shed roof now. I've got some new rails attached to the roof. 
we've got the eight panels across there on the angle and then there's one panel just there that didn't actually fit up here I didn't have any more angle brackets so it's been lying flat on the shed roof for half a year or something so along here is going to be six six new panels to go with the um, the current nine to add to the system and then I've also got the six down there on the ground against the fence that I've got to find homes for up here as well which you know is getting a bit tight but we'll work it out so yeah we've got all the all these panels are all north facing and then the panels over there which are on my house uh, there's 11 there north facing and all the rest are on the west facing with the setting sun just playing with this software and trying to work stuff out and I thought let's try and crank up um, the amps a little bit we've got run at 36 amps so that's that's <laughs> that's cranking it in there really 37 almost uh, earlier today I had 38 almost amps and times that by two and that gives you the 24 volt so I'm really really happy with it uh, the voltage is coming up nicely as I said before it's all fairly balanced bottom end I'm not happy top end but you know you get that they use batteries I will deal with that what I would like to do here is if I move the camera here I'm gonna change this charger source priority I'm going to do it to utility and solar. So I'm going to click that. I'll go back over here. I don't know how well you can see that fully zoomed in. Maybe I should move it a bit closer. There you go, 37 amps. Okay, we go over here, click apply. Setting successful. It'll take a half a minute or so. So basically what I've done now is I've turned on the internal charger, the, the, the AC charger, and I've got the six panels against this, the fence, which is attached to the PIP, and I've got all the other panels attached to the um, PCM60X. Oh okay, yeah, that's... Holy crap. <laughs> 47 amps, 48 amps, 50 amps at 48 volt. And I've got that set to 60 amps grid. So the grid can charge at 60 amps. Looks like it's leveling. Oh, no, it's still going up. That's 57 amps. 58, 59. I wonder if we get to 60. <laughs> 60 amps. That's cool as all get out. I know this makes my boring video, YouTube, but hey, look, this channel's to entertain me, not you. If you can learn something in my process, all good. Far out, that's 60 amps, that's 120 amps in the old scale. That is going to charge some batteries fast. 61 amps. Holy moly. 62 and a half. What's that? So if that's drawing 30 amps, that's, that's, that's drawing about 2000 watts off the grid which isn't so bad because my house is only using here you can see if I move that there my house is only using 250 watts of power but my grid tie inverter is producing 4120 so basically I'm well in all theory I'm charging it from three separate solar systems all renewable energy how good is that anyway YouTube I'm going to sign out. I'm as happy as all get out. Like, rate, subscribe. Hate, dislike, and unsubscribe. I don't care. It's all good. And I'll catch you on the next one.